Yeah, sure, we've already covered this exact topic, but holy moly did Beard from three years ago miss some really good stuff. These fountains of knowledge are flushed with more than just blueprints, and what they can lead to goes well beyond simple game progression, folks. From infinite light to plenty of green slimes, let's do this guide properly this time. But here's what hasn't changed since we last praised the moon, our ultimate destination. The ancient archives is where most of the day will go down, so be sure to locate your blue must tree forest biomes, as only then can you stumble through the lunar grotto there, which in turn leads to this guy hopefully, the inactive, ornate pedestal. Requiring a third and final iridescent gem, as one can hopefully tell, here's where we start to add some new notes to it all. As while the old school moonstone event path is still very much at play for the vast majority of players, this being the act of deconstructing the resulting moon collar staff that comes from completing this event of course, Wilson's recent a refresh update upends a ton of best laid plans. For you see, his transmuting skills here offer us the chance to literally craft an iridescent gem using all other gems. And this can be done at any time, not constrained by the full moon cycle, and a single dragonfly kill is all it takes to amass what you need. Wherever the case may be though, once that final gem is indeed socketed, the archives and its various mechanics will spring into action, and thus our fun begins. But trust me, chances are you won't get as lucky as I did with the fountain spawns, but flushing any and all gives us distilled knowledge, but specific colors do indeed offer us specific crafts, like blue fountain here, leading to astral detectors. So to continue, note how red fountains of knowledge will give us collected dust, but we'll still absolutely need to be working towards making some at the end of the day. And lastly, yellow toilets will grant us both the terra firma tamper and the ancient stonework turf blueprints in one flush. But all the beard, I just got a ball of nothing. What gives? Ah yes, we need to pop them suckers open via a mini memory game everybody. Located somewhere in your ancient archives is the ancient orchestrina here, and once a distilled knowledge ball is dropped in the middle of it, we must enter the correct sequence, and only then will each distilled knowledge give us a blueprint for the respective recipes. And that's actually where we start our deep dive today. A simple recipe. That collected dust nonsense we mentioned can also be found in ancient kilns down here in the archives, but any additional chunks you make can just be used in any old crockpot mind. But used for what you ask? Well, Ambrosia, of course. One collected dust and almost literally anything else makes one Ambrosia, and while Ambrosia does literally nothing for us, our mineral-loving friends are gonna eat it all up. Rock lobsters counter for loyalty, although this is a complete waste mind, and Slurtles and Snurtles love it so much that they will provide the most amount of Slurtle slime possible per bite. But all that's not even the main mechanic of the stuff, folks. Not when we've got dust moths to discuss. Feeding an amber rosha to one of these ancient bugs will force them to clean their tidy hidey holes for about half a day, only for it to result in one of the only ways to renew full sight fragments in this entire game, even without killing an endgame boss. Enjoy three to seven fragments with a 1% chance at an entire chunk of the stuff. As we need to move on to the biggest piece of the puzzle today, in my opinion, the astral detector. It is technically a structure that will likely confuse some at first, as it literally just works to point us in very directions with no explanation and a bloody arrow. But we'll make it simple. The main purpose of these things is to help pinpoint the location and then dig up the two pieces of the Celestial Sanctum needed to help create one of the three total Celestial Altars needing to be socketed on the Lunar Island to not only summon the Moonstorms here, but literally everything that follows, of course, including new post-game content after today. So yes, they are damn important, but did you know that getting one early enough could could also lead to finding said lunar island, as detectors also point towards the inviting formations once the sanctum is found. Furthermore, once the original three celestial altar thingies are mined, astral detectors also divine the location of the Crab King for Pete's sake. And this, this is the only way to guarantee this guy's location in the entire game. So that's insane, and we're still not done. For you see, once all celestial altar pieces are found, not even socketed mined, astral detectors become infinite light sources. Yup, no biggie. But two last true notes. Detectors in the caves will always provide this infinite light in the event you need it, and any detectors with low uses can thus be hammered to retain all the loot needed to continuously craft additional ones over and over and over again. 
So have fun. Because the actual fun just about ends here, everyone. To end the day comes the terra firma tamper and the ancient stonework that's pretty much just all about the ancient archive itself. So while that's the latter covered, the former is just yet another structure made by a dual site, cut stone, and wet goop of all things, and will grant this access to the turf crafts. To be fair, turf crafting is way cooler and efficient now compared to what it was three years ago, but when compared to everything else here today, I think we'd all agree that it's still best to save it for last. And there you have it, everyone. The Fountains of Knowledge and their, uh... Knowledge updated and revisited, I suppose. Here's hoping the few extra notes added help give you a better appreciation of the potential of all this beyond just progressing to the end game. And besides, who even turns down new knowledge, anyways? But thanks for watching, folks. Well, wishes to all, flush them toilets, and I'll see you down the drain. Bye bye.